All right, welcome, welcome, welcome. So, I <laughs> just uploaded a video that I know they didn't want me to do. Again, whenever I can get catch them in a certain, uh, uh, what should I say? Whenever I can expose them in a way in which I have not been able to expose them before when they do certain things, you know, I'm always thankful for that, right? Because again, it's the same tactics they do over and over. Sometimes, like I said, some tactics, they will do it once every couple of months, right? Other tactics is every single day. But again, showing you guys how they will engage in letting me know that I mag a trip and doing things in such a way. So the next time that's something like that, again, it happens, I am going to um, try to get the people that they use to do certain things, because they're going to be right there. Okay, get them on, on video, All right? <laughs> so yeah. And uh, once I'm able to do that, then you guys are gonna see what it is that they do. Like, you know, like I wish I, I would've um, turned my phone to the bus driver, you know, to show you guys how, what it is that they did. Literally turned his whole, um, his top body towards me, <laughs> you know, uh, staring at my, staring at my head staring at me and then looking down at where the UPC uh, uh, tag was on the floor of the bus. And, you know, make no mistake, they put that there deliberately. Yeah, it's like when I walked in uh, to have an apartment today, you know, my daughter had a, I don't know what she did, but she, she had a, a, one of her bathing suit, uh, part of her bathing suit, you know, I'm talking about using the color pink. It was very obvious to me of how they were manipulating her. Right, to leave that stuff on the floor there, and then uh, also uh, the UPC uh, tags on the floor. Yeah, they don't bother me. I just picked them up. You know, put them in the garbage. Because again, that's what they do. I talk about they manipulate the kids. That's why we all have, you know, insomnia. We all have problems sleeping. My kids have problems sleeping. You know, think it would be a microwave. That is the effect of being hit with direct energy weapons. Particularly direct energy weapons based on the radio wave microwave frequency. You know, this is this is what they'll do. Alright? So I see the wheelchair theme. Like a, like a, yeah, I see you. She try to be slick, sticking her tongue out. <laughs> but again, doing it very subtly, you know, those type of threats. So when you guys, when I show you guys, you know, all these wheelchair, uh, people in wheelchair around me like this are, particularly if I'm walking the sideways as before, I would barely see them, but now I see more and more of them. You know, it, it lets me know that, you know, I guess it's deliberate. There's certain themes that they love to do. You know, now the theme now is a, is a, is a threat of putting me in a wheelchair and shit like that. Whereas before, you know, try to make it seem like only people in wheelchair, you know, uh, will get have disability when we know that's a, that's that's stu that's stupid because you got people that's that you know walking around without a cane without a wheelchair and on disabilities right you have people who have mental illness you have people who you know have sudden uh injuries to them that in which made them disabled right so yeah they may be walking but you know you don't know what else is going on with that person you know what i'm saying <laughs> so but again they do that because it's, it's to it's to try to persuade me that if and when they do take away my disability to not to refile uh, you know for disability not to file a claim for disability you know it's just as um, they try to persuade me not to sue them you know <laughs> if this uh, if if and when uh, you know this comes out into the public sphere to where they can no longer try to deny it and, and you know uh, hide it I mean they can hide it but people know what's going on Right, what I'm talking about, where they can, where they can, can no longer get on te television and call us crazy or call us whatever, whatever, because again, they're being uh, exposed. Right, so that's what it is that they do. You know, like I said, I don't fall for that shit though. You know, I do not fall for that shit. Right, again, it just shows you the radicalization of the public. Right. Various ages, various ages, right? From young to old and in between. All right. So basically, he was saying that 
So when people think that, oh, society is not being manipulated, again, because people don't read nothing. Or at least nothing important anyway. You know? They don't read about these public relations firms who are charged with shaping the minds of the people within the society. The moving society in the direction where that they see fit. Right? And we are all manipulated. It's what is called psychological nudging. Go look it up. All right, so you, people think that they, no one is manipulating them. Huh, I got news for you. All right, the fact that you think that is in itself proof that you are being manipulated because any body with any kind of knowledge, no one understand that this is what's happening. Also, on the technological front, okay, uh, China is developing the world's first, uh, what is it called again? Uh, um, is it uh, Townsend? Anyway, it's a, it, it's, it's a cheaper, I wouldn't say cheaper alternative, but it's, it's a more efficient uh, alternative to nuclear power, right? And it's uh, a lot safer, right? Less uh, radioactive waste. And again, you know, but who's to blame for all of this? Who's to blame for China rise to where they're the number one economy in the world? They have the most technologically skilled workers. Militarily, they are just as superior as the United States, right? They are building uh, advanced infrastructure in their country. And here in the United States, what do these people do, military do? Build more weapons, bigger weapons, you know, not trying to modernize the infrastructure, leaving the infrastructure open to attacks. And why? Because they are the ones planning the attacks. They are the ones planning the attacks, so they so what? So they can create fear and get more money to build more bigger weapons, right? And again, dumb it down the public. America has, has a so-called uh, second, and I'm going to call America a first world country, it's a second world country. Um, particularly when you're, the majority of your workforce are not highly skilled, all right? So that aspect, yeah, they're a second world country, not a first, all right? Talk to you guys in the next video.